Namaskar parents. Parents, in today's video, we will be discussing the importance of sensory integration in our children with autism. A child with autism has so much of sensory dysregulation something that you and I, the so-called neurotypical people, we cannot understand the imbalance or the loss of equilibrium that a person or a child with autism goes through. Right? So, it is very important that at a very, very, very early age, whenever you realize that, yes, there is an issue, you should, the first thing that you should always target is the sensory issues of your child. Whatever be it, they need to be worked on. Right? So, what are these, what does this mean? I'll just explain very shortly to you. We have five basic sense organs, that is our eyes to see, our ears to hear, the nose to smell, the tongue to taste, the skin to feel, it, touch and feel. These are our very basic five sense organs. Apart from that, we have a vestibular system that helps in movement and balance. It, it tells us that how fast are we going. It um, it coordinates our steps, helps us to balance, helps us to follow a straight line. So that is our vestibular system. And then there is a proprioceptive system, which helps us understand the position of our body in space. Like even if I'm, when I'm not looking at my hand, I know where it is. Right. So if I'm, I, I can watch the TV and at the same time I can chop vegetables because that is my proprioceptive which is helping me out. When I hug somebody, when I touch somebody, I know how much pressure I have to apply for that child or for that person to be comfortable. So that is my proprioception. Right. And then there is the interoceptive which is basically helping us to understand that what is happening within our body. I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, I'm tired, I'm sleepy. These are all whatever body is experiencing and we are able to understand it because of our interoception. Right, so all in all these are the main uh, eight systems that need to work together for us to be able to uh, visualize, to understand, to process things to learn things, for us to be in a state of balance and in a state of harmony with our environment. These eight systems need to function together properly. Now the problem is that in a lot of our children who have autism, they are either overreactive or underreactive to these sensory stimuli. So either there is a seeking behavior, they want more of it, or there is an avoidant behavior, they do not want it at all. So depending on what is the issue with your child, what is his specific problem, you have to target them. A child who is repetitively doing the same movements or the same actions, jumping, toe walking, flapping, going round and round in circles, looking at the fans, the tires very uh, interestingly, mouthing, touching various textures, every tile, every texture the child wants to touch and feel, not able to uh, you know, uh, balance, clumsy while walking, not able to jump, not, not able to hop, not able to understand as to if somebody is, uh, if I'm hugging somebody, how much pressure I need to apply. The child sometimes they squeeze very hard. 
or sometimes they'll just push you away because even if you're not squeezing them you're just lightly touching them possibly they uh, feel it as too much of pressure not able to tell you tell the mother that they are hungry or they are thirsty or they want to go and do uh, susu or they are tired and they want to sleep not able to understand these uh, bodily processes these are all sensory issues right so we have to the earlier the better the earlier you start working on your child's whatever sensory issue the better it will be in the overall prognosis of your child because when they are involved in these sensory behaviors they are so involved that they lose touch with what is happening in their environment once the sensory issues start reducing their touch with the environment increases the process of passive learning you know a lot of parents tell me that as long as i sit with the child or a teacher or some adult somebody is sitting with the child the child is learning the child is doing but the moment we leave our children the child starts engaging in one or the other stimming behaviors right so that process of passive learning where the child is just observing and learning or just listening and learning that process of being able to imitate others passively without anybody else putting in any major effort that will start only when these sensory issues go down and you don't have to just stop the child you know you can't if your child is flapping or your child is jumping you can't just say mat karo don't do don't do don't do no by doing those behavior the child is getting some big amount of comfort he is putting his body in a state of balance why will he stop doing it just because you are saying don't do it so you have to understand that you have to compensate that behavior whatever be it if your child is jumping possibly he is liking that pressure that he is getting on his uh, soles or on his toes or on his calf so you have to give him pressure from outside for him to stop jumping or reduce jumping if your child is mouthing possibly he enjoys putting things and putting pressure on it you have to give them oral massages so you just can't keep saying ki mat karo don't do don't do that is not the solution the solution is you distract but you immediately compensate with some exercise or some maneuver that will give that child that same amount of satisfaction that is the need get it so depending on your child's sensory issues or stimming you target those behaviors accordingly but a small amount of sensory feed in the form of massage in the form of deep compression in the form of balancing exercises in the form of uh, oral massage in the form of texture play minimum 20 minutes of feed you try to give your child at least every alternate day if you it's not possible to do it every day for every parent but as regular as you can the child must have some dedicated amount of sensory feed it is as important as feeding the child it is equally important so at least these i am some general sensory feed that every child of autism must get i am sharing those demonstration videos with you apart from that targeted intervention targeted compensation for a particular behavior I have made several videos on it I'll put the link in the description box and you can go through them individually as per the need of your child but basic sensory feed please do give your child right parents so I've just put in small small demonstrations of very simple things that you can do with your child at home and these are the type of feeds that will help every form of sensory issue massage deep compression are very relaxing for every child of who's on the spectrum so 
just go through them and use your judgment and implement it whatever is the need of your child right but please start as early as possible right parents so go through the demonstration videos implement them on your children send us your feedback like the video subscribe to the channel and let the shakti spread vijay bhava tatha astu हर जॉइंट पे पांच पांच पाउंड अपने हाथ से हम वेट विट ऑन एवरी जॉइंट वी विल गिव फाइव फाइव काउंट ऑफ स्क्वीज वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव फिंगर जॉइंट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एल्बो जॉइंट आर्म्स फिट वन Two on the arms. Three, four, five on the shoulder. One, two, three, four, five. Similarly on the legs. One, two, three, four, five. Toes. Up soles. One, two, three, four, five. Up ankle. Be ready. One. Two, three, four, five. Calf muscles. One, two, three, four, five. Knees. One, two, three, four, five. Or oh, बहुत हल्के हाथ से बेटा. Very light hand on the thighs. One, two, three, four, five. Do this compression at least five. Four to five times. It takes two minutes, only two minutes. But it is very relaxing for the child. They learn to sit. They learn to be less hyperactive, less aggressive. It relaxes them. It's a rule, kids. Okay. Namaste. Namaste. Very good. दम लगा हा वेरी गुड चल चल नमीश हाँ वेरी गुड वेरी गुड इधर लिखिया इधर लिखिया आजा आजा नमीश आजा सूट डिफरेंट टेक्सचर्स हैं ये ये है गेहूं आटा दिखाओ विदान बोर्ड स्लेट मुक्ता के पास क्या है मुक्ता क्या लेके बैठी है चावल ओके ये बोर्ड बेसन सैंड पेंट भैया रखो अपना बाबू रखो देवांश रखो क्या है एक्यू प्रेशर बोर्ड क्या है दादा 
सूजी आटा एंड अगेन गेहूं चलो इसमें क्या करेंगे चलो एक बार करा दो चल एक बार करा दो मुक्ता को गोल गोल रानी ठंडा ठंडा पानी गोल घुमाओ सिटी बजाओ गोल 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 सिटी बजा के बोल भैया ऑल इज वेल सो सर्क्यूलर एंड एंटी सर हाँ एट करवाओ एट कैसे करवाएंगे एस बनाओ एक फिंगर से एस बनाओ एस बनाओ ऊपर लेके जाओ एट तीन बार एस बनाओ ऊपर लेके जाओ एट एस बनाओ ऊपर लेके जाओ एट मेरे बच्चों क्रॉलिंग ऑल्सो हेल्प क्रॉलिंग वेरी गुड वेरी गुड हाँ बेयर क्रॉल वेरी गुड हाँ वेरी गुड